Staying with the topic, while some believe that unprecedented progress has been made in denuclearizing North Korea, some remain skeptical that the progress made so far would result in tangible outcome. To get some clues on what we could expect going forward, our Yoon Jung Min heard from another expert. It has been exactly one year since North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and U.S. President Donald Trump met in Singapore for the first ever talks between the leaders of their two countries. The historic summit somewhat helped improve their bilateral ties, but there have been ups and downs as their second summit in Hanoi ended with no deal in February. Some experts have pointed to the lack of progress between Pyongyang and Washington when asked about how far both sides have come in terms of denuclearization. As far as I know, they haven't dismantled any missiles. And, uh, you know, if you believe what you read in the failing New York Times and elsewhere, they're actually increased fissile material production. So it seems like the North Korea nuclear program is either static or advanced. So no de denuclearization to date at all. Mr. King also said the definition of denuclearization differs between North Korea and the U.S., which makes it difficult for the both sides to reach an agreement. Kim apparently wants some denuclearization in exchange for effectively complete sanctions relief, and Trump, to his credit, now wants complete denuclearization of North Korea. So until we bridge that gap, I don't see any real progress. On Tuesday, Trump said he had received a, quote, beautiful letter from Kim raising hopes for another Kim-Trump summit. The expert said he was positive when it comes to future talks, as Trump can use the talks for political purposes ahead of the presidential election. Well, I definitely expect a third summit, probably before the U.S. election, so that Trump can again uh, badmouth his predecessors and say he's done something that no other U.S. president has done. However, he also said there is, quote, a parallel universe for North Korea policies inside the White House, hinting at some gap between President Trump and the rest of his government officials. Yoon Jung-min, Arirang News.